Welcome back to another one, Cheap Fam. We are here in Indiana. I totally spaced out uh, filming that we were leaving Michigan. We got down here to Indiana uh, yesterday at 3 a.m. Got to the house, fell asleep, woke up. Uh, Mrs. had a hair appointment. And if she will come in here, she will reveal her new hair. We had to shave it all off, and then we had to... We had to take it from this homeless lady. It was bad. It was bad. She did not want to give up her hair. But we got it. I am completely joking. We did not do that. Don't flag this video, YouTube. That'll be bad. But I am actually rendering a video right now. And I'm going to upload it onto our other channel. And then I have to create... Um, I have to edit another video for... Oh, today is Saturday. Evidently, I have to edit an entire video today and upload it, so we'll see if I make it. Um, if not, it has just been absolutely hectic and crazy because we're loading the Jeep, getting the Jeep ready to go, and we got it loaded up. I would turn the camera to show you because it's right outside the window right here, but as you can see with this window, it'll be completely blown out, so you want to be able to see it. But this video is almost done uh, rendering, and then I'm going to upload it. Uh, since we have Wi-Fi here and I don't have to use my mobile hotspot, hopefully it'll take a little bit less time But uh, for the uploading. But we are here in Indiana for a little bit. Uh, we actually have, unfortunately, a little mishap. Um, we took the boys to the dentist for their normal dentist checkup doohicker. And uh, Bentley is fine. He does need braces, but they didn't say anything about it. And this is where the hiccup comes into play. Dawson evidently has a very large cavity on one of his back teeth. And it's a baby tooth. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you can either pull it. And I looked at his x-rays. And I also seen the photo of the tooth. And I actually seen the tooth itself and everything. I'm no dentist or anything. But I figure if it's a baby tooth let it fall out or pull it out be done with it right but oh, i just got done rendering awesome but they're saying that they either want to extract it or do a root canal and i'm like i don't really know why you do a root canal on a baby tooth but whatever i guess i'm not a dentist so i don't know and then we set a date for october 1st so we have to go back up to michigan October 1st for this dentist appointment. And then we got a call yesterday and basically they said that they are not going to do anything to Dawson's tooth until he goes and sees an orthodontist. Well, what I always knew is orthodontists do braces and such and like teeth alignment and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not a dentist or an orthodontist or anything like that, but they just want basically a second opinion on what to do. So now, Monday, we have to call and figure out what we're going to be doing and when that appointment is going to be. So we're going to see from there. And as you can see, we got Creeper Mrs. She's right here. They can see you on the TV. <laughs> Whoa! It's like a whole new woman. Anyway, so basically, we don't know when we're going to be able to be heading out west. Um, we're going to call on Monday, figure out all that stuff for him, and that's going to dictate on um, what we are all going to do. Because we were planning on heading out west and doing starting our trip and everything like that. But unfortunately, we don't know what's going on with the dentist and the orthodontist thing, so we're going to have to wait for that. So until then, as of right now, we are in Indiana, uh, the Columbus, North Vernon area. Uh, right now we're in Columbus. But um, we are going to be doing some fishing and some frog hunting and stuff like that. But uh, hopefully we can find some stuff to do trips. Oh yeah, got, got my hair dead up too because I was looking like a freaking homeless dude and Got the beard trimmed up, my shash, because, you know, I was eating my hair for weeks on end because 
my mustache was still dang long, but yeah, we got the Jeep packed up. Uh, not the exact way I want it for the trip. Um, unfortunately, we have to wait on some things uh, to order some things because I want to put some cases on the top. I got to build an onboard water system on the top. Um, I actually found what I was looking for so I could put my rod holder on the top so I can move all the fishing poles from the inside that I put in between. There's a space between the generate cage and the actual roof and I put I took all my reels off of my fishing poles like I always do when we travel and I put them in between there and then I have these like uh, like rubberized bungee things or whatever and I strapped them to the cage so they don't move around that way they're up out of the way and kids don't hit them or anything like that because I have my big ocean rod that I use for beach fishing and stuff that's like a it's like a 10 foot it's not it's not as long as the ocean rod that I want to get because I want like a 14 foot ocean rod, like just a big nasty one with like uh, a 5,000 or 6,000 uh, style reel, like big old spinning rod. Um, <clears throat> but basically that rod is up there with um, my super ultralight rod, my little, my little noodle rod that I use all the time. And then I have the boys' two fishing poles. And then I think I have two more on top of that. But I couldn't put my one rod holder on because I couldn't secure it to the roof rack because I need brackets from them, which I'm going to order. And um, that way we can condense it all down into... It's, a, it's just a piece of 4-inch uh, PVC. And I just take the rods apart take the reels off them like I always do anyways when we travel and um, I slide them in there and then uh, Rhino Rack actually has um, locking caps for uh, 4 inch PVC Schedule 40 and that's what we use anyways so <clears throat> that'll be nice because that way they'll be secure and they'll be uh, mounted onto the roof and I'm going to put all the rods in there so that way they're up out of the way and then I got to put the onboard water system in and I got to figure out how to do that because I was trying to figure out how to do a get as many cases on the top as I possibly could and I figured out a layout where I could fit four of the Rome uh, cases and unfortunately now I have to figure out a different layout because I completely spaced on my onboard water system so I have to figure out how to do that the 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 rod holder, I'm hoping I can somehow like have off to the side a little bit. Hold on. So anyways, uh, hopefully I can kind of push the rod holder out to the side and that way I'll still have that full platform because we have a, a Pioneer platform on the roof. Um, and basically that'll give me enough space to have as many cases as possible because in the cases, what I plan on doing, the, the Rome um, cases that I'm going to get, they're the deeper Rome case that looks, it looks kind of like a, a pew pew case basically, but it's a little bit uh, deeper because I want to have as much space as possible, but also the deeper case allows me to put her bow in with quiver and everything and arrows and release and all that. And then also my bow in and then hopefully if there's enough room if I pack it right I can put all of our hunting clothing and stuff in there as well so everything will be condensed into one case saves a lot of space and everything and uh, the Rome boxes since they're nice and square uh, Rhino Rack sells uh, these little corners that go on it's just a little 90 degree and you're case will fit right into here and then it has like a little um eyelet that you can secure a, a ratchet strap to and that'll go on all four corners and then we'll ratchet strap it down so it locks it in place and isn't allowed to move and then uh we'll obviously put our padlocks and stuff on it because it'll be outside so um i do need to figure out how i can actually lock the cases onto the roof because obviously putting the padlock on a case like great you can't open it awesome you know unless it cut the lock 
but you know the cases are are almost four hundred dollars a piece so i think they're like 350 or something but i, I want to be able to lock them onto the pioneer um platform system so that way no matter what like they're locked on like if someone gets into the case and takes all the contents at least the case is still going to be there yeah it's going to suck because all the equipment's going to be gone out of there especially if they get into the the hunting one where all of our hunting clothing and our two bows are going to be because um the ppos are going to be in a different spot so and that is another thing as well um i have a pretty pretty interesting idea on how i'm going to fabricate something um to hold the pew inside the the Wrangler so it's inside because obviously I don't want that outside um, I would prefer it to be inside um, <clears throat> that way it'll I feel a little bit more comfortable with parking the Jeep somewhere or whatever and us going on a hike at least I know it's inside um, more of a deterrent I guess harder to get to but um, so that's the plan for that uh, hopefully we can get all that stuff going. Uh, we're going to have to order probably a case a month. So we'll have to, you know, next month we'll probably order one case, have it shipped, and uh, I'll put that up. And that's going to be all of our clothing. We're going to get all the clothing out of the Jeep, put it into that one case, secure that case at the top. So all of our clothing uh, between... Myself, the Mrs., uh, Bentley, Dawson, and Carl is all going to be in that one case because it's going to be the, the deeper of the Rome cases. So hopefully we can pack it all and condense it all into that one case. If not, we'll keep some stuff and um, some of our other bags and stuff that we already have anyways. But um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get that done. And then uh, my plan was to actually be heading out to um out west but unfortunately with his his teeth and dentist issue i don't think that's going to happen right now and it's just you just kind of you know kind of roll with the punches and take it how it is so we're gonna hopefully get that all done and get that ready to roll but it's just a it's a work in progress it's been constantly okay yeah we're ready to go and then this happens and we can't go and then we get that done and then okay yeah we're ready to go and then this happens and then we can't go and it's just a constant thing and you know we've been planning this trip for literally over a year so waiting a couple days weeks or a month or whatever it's it's not that big of a deal it sucks but it's not that big of a deal um because we were trying to get out west uh up into montana and washington and stuff before it gets cold because we are camping along the entire way. We're not gonna. We're gonna try not to stay in hotels or anywhere like that. We're gonna try to camp every place that we go. So, and unfortunately, with everything being on the roof because we have so much stuff, I can't put a rooftop tent on top of the jeep. So, we're stuck with a ground tent. It is a massive ground tent, and it's an instant tent, so it's a little bit quicker uh, to put up. They say it's like. I don't know, like five minutes or whatever, but it's like 10 or 12 feet by like 15 feet or so. I don't, it's a big tent. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, which I should probably do and probably practice setting it up so I know the steps and it's just easier. But anyways, we're hoping to get out there before it got cold because we want to do that because when it gets warm or when it gets cold up there, we're going to head down south to like Arizona, Texas, um, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama and all that stuff. We're going to stay down at the coast and then we're going to work our way from the west. <laughs> we're going to work our way from the west all the way over to Florida and we're going to see some friends back down in Florida since we lived there for two years. And um, We're going to do some ocean fishing the whole time and we're going to try to camp on the beaches uh, the entire way over so we're gonna have to do some searching and stuff but um, if it keeps going the way it is and stuff keeps piling up where we have to get this and this and this and obviously if it was something like 
whatever that could be put off for a while, like we would just go and put it off. But unfortunately, this is something with his teeth and like it needs to be taken care of. So we're not going to do that. So we're uh, going to be stuck here for a little bit, but not a big deal. Uh, the Mrs. Family is here. Come here, big man. Come here. Look, I want to show you something. Nope. Out of here. But anyways, um, we're going to try and figure out what we're going to be doing completely. Uh, I do obviously uh, want to go fishing and frog hunting and stuff. I know the missus definitely wants some more frog legs, um, which is great. I want to do some fishing around the area some more because last time we were here, I didn't catch anything. And I definitely want to do some catfish sets because I want some catfish and I haven't had it in a while, so we're going to try for that. And then I think I think once we're done here, as long as it's... See, with October, I don't know. I don't know what it is out west in October area to, as temperature-wise, for out there in those far northern states, I would guess it's getting cold because up in Michigan, it's cold for Halloween, so... Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, figure out what we're actually going to do. But obviously we'll keep you guys updated and uh, tuned in. And I'm going to get this video started uploading. And uh, if you guys want to check this out, this is going to be on Over the Counter Outdoors channel. Um, it's a pretty good video. At the very end, uh, you get the... You get to hear the missus freak out because of something that she caught, which is entertaining. So, um, all right, guys. If you guys see us, uh, you clearly can't miss the Jeep. If you guys see us at a fuel station, driving, store, whatever, stop in, say hi, talk to us. Um, when we were leaving the other night, uh, we got, it was Thursday. Thursday night, we left at... 9 30 p.m and we had to drive seven hours so we got here like 3 30 because we went to this place instead of the other place in north vernon so it was actually a little bit quicker because we got to head straight down the highway we didn't have to take back roads and all that fun stuff but um this guy at the fuel station uh at meyer in lunnington at the fuel station at 9 30 at night we uh talked to him for probably half hour or so and he was he was just living his best life he had his four-wheeler and he had crates in the back and he was he was living his best life and we had it out and he got on his four-wheeler and took off i don't know where the heck he was going but um if you guys see us anywhere we will 100 percent take the time to talk to you guys if you want to talk about the jeep heck yeah i'll I'll talk about it all the time. Um, well, are you nodding your head? Yeah. And Bentley's back here. Which, uh, no, 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 no. What? Dear Dawson. You scared Dawson? Okay, go scare him. Do you want to say hi? No? No. Okay. So, yeah, if you guys see us anywhere, if we're driving, you know, just wave or whatever if you guys see us at a fuel station the store or whatever stop talk to us if you, and then definitely if you guys see us fishing or frog hunting or something come talk to us say hey we'll talk to you for a while and see what everybody's up to so all right guys i'm gonna let you go i see the missus is ready and i know we have to go to the stores and we have to go to the for grandma's in north vernon so stick with us hopefully I can get this video edited and uploaded today. So if not, this is going to be the video for today. Have a good day, guys.